Good morning, and welcome back to the Ram Report Morning Show. I'm your host, Laura Pavlovic, as always, bringing you the Heights Town Scoop. Winter sports came to a close with a strong finish for girls basketball. Here's Alex Bayes with the recap. Here at Heights and High School, we have wrapped up the first stage of our, our winter sports as girls basketball's incredible season has come to an end last weekend. The girls finished the year 9-5, and five, including a six-game win streak halfway through the season. Okay, so not only was this season really exciting, but I think next season looks even more promising than this year. Um, we return all five of our starting lineup. Our goal for next year is to have a winning record again, but um, with a longer season, I think to have even more wins than that. I think it'll definitely be a goal for us to win our conference and our division and do even more amazing things next year. So I'm very excited for it. And I know the girls are also very excited for it. We're going to work really hard this off season and I can't wait. When it came to the CVC tournament, our girls didn't disappoint. They were the Pod V champions beating Hamilton West and Hopewell Valley both by double digits. The Rams ended the year with a very close 64 to 60 loss to Notre Dame, but this was definitely overshadowed by their successful season. This week, the CVC posted the season stat leaders and our rims were very well represented by Abby Miser, Isabella Benitez, Carly McKenna, and Kelly McAleer. We look forward to seeing this young core return next year and seeing what they can do. And hopefully we have the herd back in the stands to cheer them on. I'm Matthew Salter with the Ram Report, back to you. Thanks, Alex. Those of you who are interested in participating for spring sports, make sure to sign up for the Heights, on the Heightstown High School Athletics website. Once again, the Ram Report is continuing its weekly COVID update, this time with stimulus checks soon to be on the way. Here's Tealock with more information. There may be good news coming in next few weeks for the majority of Americans. COVID stimulus checks are soon to be approved by President Biden, which will allow for direct payments of up to $1,400 for those in need. The $1.9 trillion coronavirus bill also puts more money into vaccine testing and distribution with special focus on K-12 schools. With Biden call to have all teachers vaccinated by the end of the month, the transition back into fully in-person instruction may be much sooner than anticipated. More than 600 public and private vaccine locations exist in New Jersey, making it possible for majority of educators to get vaccinated within this accelerated time frame. The EWRSD is also contemplating new changes to the current school schedule, with certain students being eligible for four days a week in-person instruction. I'm Tilak Patel for RAM Report, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Tilak. After months of waiting, it'll be nice to have these stimulus checks finally approved. In other COVID-related news, both New Jersey and New York City have expanded indoor dining to 50% capacity. As the vaccinations become more prevalent, the governor hopes to be able to continue to reopen establishments the way they were pre-pandemic. Each year, March is designated as Women's History Month by presidential proclamation. This month is set aside to honor women's contributions in American history, whether it be developments in scientific research, art, or women's suffrage. With a historic number of women nominated for the 2021 Grammy Awards, we surveyed Heightstown High School students on their favorite female artists. Hey, so for me, I think that um, the female producer Wonder Girl has been like one of my favorite producers over the past few years. She's been producing songs such as uh, Antidote by Travis Scott, Can't Say, or uh, even Company by Don Tolliver. So these are really good songs, and I think the sounds that she's able to create are definitely something new and much needed in the uh, hip-hop and rap scene right now. So I'd definitely say that Wonder Girl is a fantastic producer and should look out for her. My favorite female artist is Haley Williams because of how much of an impact she made for women in the punk genre. One female artist that I really look up to is Nicki Minaj, and um, that's because she created a name for herself, even though um, she didn't have the most ideal background, and she has paved the path for females in the rap industry, and um, she always gives back to her community and fan base, so I think that's really inspirational. Thank you to all of our participants and for our viewers at home. Remember to support the women in your life all year round. Being stuck at home for the majority of our time, many students have turned to art to alleviate the stress of the past year. Now, the Artist Union is giving you a chance to put your work on display. 
Here's Parker Benick with the story. Heights Town Rams, if you're looking for a new way of expressing yourself, you might just be in luck. Because the Artist Union is hosting a new art exhibition this year, showcasing your art. Yes, your art. And it's not just limited to students either, as any staff member, including teachers, can submit a piece if they would like to. The exhibit is called Quarren 12 by 12, a very clear play on everyone's favorite word from last year. And as you may be able to guess from the title, the main thing you're going to need in order to participate is a 12 by 12 canvas. But worry not, you can get the canvas for free by emailing Miss Russo. But spots are limited, so if you would like to participate, make sure you send in that email as soon as possible. As for the content of the canvas and what you can do with it once you've got it for the exhibition, we interviewed Miss Russo herself to find out about that. So what kind of materials can the students use to create this art? So students can use anything to create this type of art. You can use canvas. Well, everybody's using the canvas. So normally you would think acrylic paint or oil paint or some kind of paint. But you can use any type of material on this. You can use watercolor, you can use crayon, you can use marker, you can build on it, you can do anything that you want on this canvas in the parameters of good taste. You heard it here first folks. Once you've got your canvas, you can do just about anything with it provided that it's school appropriate. The canvases must be completed and dropped off at Heights Sound High School by April 23rd. So if you're interested in participating, make sure you get to it as soon as possible as spots are limited. As always, I'm Parker Benick with The Ram Report. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Parker. We're definitely looking forward to seeing all of the submissions. A great sandwich only comes along once in a lifetime. We decide to ask Josh Carmona to head to Nassau Street and try out the Sanchez. Here at the Ram Report, we just started covering chicken sandwiches. Two weeks ago, it was the crispy chicken sandwich at McDonald's. And this week, we're going to be checking out Hoagie Haven Sanchez, what could arguably be the king of sandwiches. Now, when the pandemic first hit, a lot of changes came to the way that food is produced, and it became very difficult for a lot of places to continue in the way that we know. However, it could be said that Hoagie Haven has persevered through all of this hardship, and will that be reflected in the way that the food tastes? Let's go check it out. The Sanchez, for those of you who may not know, is a sandwich comprised of chicken tenders, fries, and the legendary Sanchez sauce, which makes it a unique sandwich to review. Therefore, we're not going to be reviewing based on any criteria because it isn't worth comparing to anything else. The Sanchez is on its own. So the Sanchez is a unique sandwich because it's not a traditional sandwich, right? Um, so because of that, we won't be grading it on a, you know, a criteria based scale. Uh, we're just going to do based on how good it is. And I'm going to say right out the bat, it's a five. This is a perfect sandwich. Chicken, great. Fries, great. Sauce, great. You can't go wrong with the Sanchez. Now, before, in the future, the Sanchez will always be great. Do yourself a favor. Come on out here. Go grab a Sanchez. Enjoy. I've been Josh Cremona with the Ram Report. Back to you. Thanks, Josh. That sandwich looks amazing. With that, this episode of the Ram Report is concluded. Tune back in next week for another helping of the Heightstown Scoop. Stay safe, have a good weekend, and as always, have a ramtastic day.